Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. Today we have some life updates and a big announcement we're really excited to share. All right, so today's objective, I get to go pick up our trailer. Yeah, our trailer that we uh, spent so much time on on this property and now it's come full circle. The trailer's coming back on the property. Thank you very much to uh, Tim at the RV and campground out in St. Marie. Uh, that was just, he came up huge when we needed a bathroom and a shower and wash machine and dryer when we were here off grid. And then he came up huge again, to store our trailer for us uh, while we had to do the short term rental. So <laughs> I can't, can't thank him enough. And he's a shining example of what the East Coast lifestyle personality is, is like, what the culture is like out here. So thanks again, Tim, if you're watching this. It's hard to imagine that less than a year ago, this was our home. We lived in this thing as we drove across Canada and when we arrived to our property. It was our refuge in a hurricane and all the different challenges that we had with two dogs and two cats and two people in this small little 16 foot trailer seem insignificant now or a distant memory, but a fond one. We often reminisce about the nights we spent in the trailer and, and wanting to uh, do it again. We're glad to have it back on the property. If you want to see how we renovated this trailer and drove across the country with it, check out some of our earlier videos. They just love following you. <laughs> so, Welcome to our Mars landscape. <laughs> the uh, the sand and whatnot we use for the septic system, which is actually gonna work as our front yard. It has like a reddish uh, color to it, and it's barren because it's it's just sand. It's not topsoil. It hasn't been seeded or anything yet. Getting topsoil soon, um, and then we can start seeding it. We want to do like a clover and thyme mixture uh, rather than having like a traditional lawn. It can take high traffic. Very bee friendly and uh, you don't need to mow it. So low maintenance there, but yeah. It's been <laughs> a year ago this month that I had my surgery and I didn't know where I was gonna go in life. What a year can bring, what a year of changes. Man, definitely blessed. Where's the toy? And it's really quite something now that I, I look back at it, that I went from a guy who was driving garbage truck by a day and spending his nights playing video games, aimlessly trying to find purpose in life, to someone who has completely transformed this property. Someone who gets up every day and works hard on building our dream and a life we don't need an escape from. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, we set our home. That's so cool. <laughs> he doesn't know what to make of it. Holy. We're in the future now. So cool. <laughs> Even the ravens are like, what the? <laughs> what bird is that? Oh my goodness, I can see everything. Oh. oh, it's an exciting day today. We had a bunch of chicks hatching. That was exciting too. They hatched overnight, some of them. And a lot of them, most of them hatched yesterday on day 20. Now we're getting ready for our seedling sale, our first sale. <laughs> what an... Yeah. Our first sale at our farmstead. <laughs> All right. Let's 
set up for the market. Woohoo! <laughs> no, I'm legit that excited. Okay. It's great. It is exciting. Yeah. And this sign you built is awesome. I'm glad you enjoy it. This little sandwich board. <laughs> That's amazing. So this is how we started. This is our very first tomato seedling sale of the year at Raven Willow Farmstead. All the different tomato varieties that I've planted and then all of our social QRs. It's pretty neat. We'll expand from here. I've got another probably five or six trays inside of tomatoes. So it'll be about 400 or so. <laughs> Got our stairway of tomatoes. These are looking so good. Let's put a little bit of fer like soluble fertilizer on them. This is how we had it set up at the beginning. By the end of the market, there was three weekend sales that we did this over and I probably only had maybe one and a half trays left at the end, which was awesome. Most of them all sold the rest I put in the garden for us to grow. And as we expand the farm, I'm hoping to do um, spring seedling sales each year and expand what kind of seedlings I'm growing. People can come and mix and match. That's well, we finished the market for today and it went really well. Then, in the meantime, I've been planting all of my bulbs. I've got ranunculus, dahlias, gladiolas. They're so pretty, and same thing down there. So because we're still waiting for this whole area to kind of get leveled and, like, graded, we can't really plant anything out there. We can't really landscape yet. But in the meantime, I figured I would just use these pots, and we have an abundance of compost right now, so... Oh my gosh. What was that? I stepped on that dog toy. Oh. <laughs> it's a gorgeous day out. It's like May 24th. Got all my plants out here. Getting some sun, just hardening off before they go in the garden. We got the geese out. They've really been enjoying their daily adventures outside. <laughs> I'll take some of that. Sally's digging. She's either digging or rolling. That's, <laughs> that's her ammo. Under this nice big, there's two big apple trees. And that's where we've got their little day pen. They love it. Right under the bird feeder here for the other birds. Yeah, come on. netting over top to protect them. In a land of 
green and whispers tall. We dreamed of fields and forests call. With hands of heart, we broke the ground. In the magic soil, our dreams are found. So we have a huge announcement that we can't even begin to express uh, how excited we are. Since moving to New Brunswick, we've really been missing family out here. It was really easy to hop on a flight, one hour flight from Edmonton to go see them. Within four hours, we'd be at their doorstep. And now that we're all the way across the country, it's a little bit more difficult than that, which we knew was going to be a huge sacrifice when we left. And that's the main reason we started making these videos and a big reason of why we continue to make them so that they can see what we're up to and maintain a connection when we speak on the phone or video chat. So my dad has always loved animals and was sad to leave the farm we had when I was a kid raised on a cow and goat farm. And whenever he would drive by cows in a field, he would say, wow, look at those cows. Became kind of a running joke whenever we saw cows. It'd be like, wow, look at those cows, dad. So after my mom passed and we made this decision to move and get back to building our own small scale regenerative farm, my dad was really excited for us. After hearing everything we were doing and how it was like living here in New Brunswick, he was so excited that he decided to move here too. So we received his fifth wheel trailer that he sent all the way from British Columbia. He had it driven here and he's gonna move in and start building his own house on the same property. He's really excited to get back into the farm life. And so you'll see him on the next couple of episodes. And we just wanna thank everyone for watching and supporting us on this channel on this journey. So take care and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>